And we're headed to the spawning vats. An ickier name would be hard to think of. You'll notice that the names of the various different places have started getting a lot more demonic. No longer is it the computer center. Now we're starting to get stuff like the spawning vats. If I recall correctly, I can run through this room. And there's some big power up I can pick up. If I'm not caught in a corner and die. That is by far the most dangerous thing with all of these pinkies. It's very easy to get yourself caught. Ah, here we go. I'm invincible and I have the berserk pack. Match made in heaven. Or in this case, a match made in hell, but whatever. Good enough for me. Speaking of heaven and hell, the guy that made these levels, Sandy Peterson, was actually a Mormon. And when their big controversy was erupting around the game being all demonic and satanic and everything else, people were asking him, how do you reconcile the fact that you're a Mormon with this game that you worked on? And he said, and obviously I'm paraphrasing here, but he said basically, well, A, they're cartoons, and B, they're the bad guys. So first off, you're overreacting because it's a cartoon, and secondly, we're not glorifying them anyway. Similar to how they obviously weren't glorifying the Nazis in Wolfenstein. Once again, they were the enemies. They were the bad guys. Pick up some cool stuff there. The Kakodemon bro is nice enough to pick a fight with this guy. And I'm gonna see if I can take him out just using the shotgun here, because I'm running low on rockets. Which is doable, just takes a while. Interesting. I'll retrace my steps here. And there's a the new guy, which means I'm probably in the right direction. Once again, as we said, if there are enemies left, it probably means there's something left to be done there. And there is the picture of a baron. Be careful of your corners here. Pick up all this stuff. And where are we going now? Lots of unexplored stuff here still. Whoa. I probably shouldn't be going through with only the map when I haven't explored this place yet. And I promptly go and do it again. See if I can whittle these guys down here. And now that that's taken care of, I hear somebody around making noise. Probably him. Back in our little tech base land here. It's kind of like a vaguely rattlesnake sound. 
kind of noise that makes you feel the dread if you don't have enough ammo and it's in a small place. Where do we want to go? We want to go through here. Somehow surprising all these people. We have to be careful because this right in front of us is a damaging floor. I guess it's supposed to be like an electrical panel or something. Everybody's in there. Everybody's just lining up. How many imps are there? Good grief. Evidently not all of them. Now if we go fast enough over that floor, we don't actually step down into it. And therefore I don't take any damage. And there are evidently some people right under there, but they're not me. Aha! Uh -huh. Something tells me this is too good to be true. I was wrong. There's an nth time for everything. Alright, now, finding our way out of here. Oh, that was good that I didn't step down in that. If we head down this way, there's this door. Once again, we're surprising people here. Now we've got the red key. I seem to remember there being somewhere else that was red key related that we needed to access to. Obviously this whole part of a level left to play. We're not done yet. These, I'm assuming, are the spawning vats. secret, but where does it lead? And I'm running back here. Evidently they're not going to follow me. So I'm going to do this. Alright, I don't know what I did. But I did something. Ah, that was not good. That was not good either. Alright, I'm just gonna kinda hide here. Actually, I am gonna check and see if there's more health laying around. Gotta be more health laying around here somewhere, right? I couldn't have used up all the health. I wasn't in that bad shape. There we go. Of course, I'm completely out of armor, which is probably why I keep taking so much damage. Alright, he is taken care of. And I heard a baron. So I'm gonna be careful. And he is going to be dead. Wonderful positive Mormon imagery right there. The upside down cross. Which is not the first example we've had of that being around. And I'm just going to punch him until he dies. Again, solving all of our problems. Hey, another secret. And it's very hard to see with this on. Which is, I guess, part of the point. It kind of nerfs its power a little bit. You can't be this all-powerful, invincible god. Here's another secret, but I can't see a darn thing.
Here's another secret, but I still can't see a darn thing. It is so dark. This is where a light amplification visor would be very useful. But it looks like I got everything. There appears to only be one room left that I didn't go to. All the way back over there. Who knows what it is? It's not a secret, evidently. It's just a room. What's inside of that room? What could be so important? I'll take a mega armor, I guess, and a bunch of ammo. I suppose that's worth my effort. Now we can retrace all of our steps here, going super fast through all these hallways and everything. Gradually finding our way back to the exit. And that is the spawning vats with almost everything. Apparently some guy, or maybe two guys, 2% of the guys managed to hide away. <laughs>